EditingSoftwareGuide.com. Today we're going to do a tutorial on motion tracking or keyframing in Adobe Premiere Elements 8. So this is an effect that you can do with um, a video clip, text, picture-in-picture uh, -picture object, whatever you want. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to have a item follow another item across the screen. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is you want to get your first video clip down into the video one timeline. And then you want to go to edit. And I'm going to use clip art because I'm going to go ahead and use this little spaceship here. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in the position where I want it to start off. And I want this to match up to the video that I have, so I want the same time length on that. And I'm going to hit enter so I can render this and make it easier to render video later on. So as I said, this is an effect that you can use with just about anything that you can get into um, a video. Um, speech bubbles, all kind of things like that. All right. Now that this is finished up, what we want to do next is look at the preview here, where you can see right now the spaceship is just staying in one place while the other objects are moving across the screen. But we're going to change that in a little bit here. So now what we want to do is we want to click on properties and we want to go to motion. and we want to click on toggle animation that makes the options come up for the changing the different properties of the motion in your video so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and start adding keyframes now I click on my object and as I move to the next frame in the video I want to move my object depending on whether I want it to move smoothly or slowly across the screen or quickly across the screen I would move it to what positions that I have to be in accordance with how I want it to look when it goes across the screen so this is a pretty tedious part of the editing but as you can see what I'm doing is I'm moving one frame and then I'm also moving my picture in picture object one frame so because this is so tedious I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll be back once I have finished doing the keyframing okay now you can see by the blue dots here that I have all my keyframes the way that I wanted them to be so I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and do a quick preview of how it's gonna look Now, once you've got everything how you want it, you just hit done. And once again, I would hit enter to render what I have. And we're good to go. As I stated, you can use this for text, videos, picture in picture objects, just about anything that you want to have move across the screen or follow a certain subject. It's easy to do. Um, all you have to do is know how to get to the right uh, options in your software and you can get it done. So thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon.